Hello everyone. Today is National Poetry Day, so I thought I would take the opportunity to share one of my favorite poems with you. In fact, it's just a part of a longer poem, the English poet John Milton's Paradise Lost, and it's a part of this poem that is sometimes referred to as Adam's Morning Hymn. And it's the hymn of praise and uh, celebration that Adam and Eve sing uh, every morning as they emerge from their, uh, from what Milton refers to previously in the poem as their shady arborous roof, that is the, the tree under which they have slept the previous night. And it's early in the morning, and Adam and Eve uh, wake and rise, em emerge from underneath the tree. And this uh, poem is really a, a, a hymn of praise to uh, the one infinite reality. Uh, just as uh, a wave, just as before a wave, tells us anything about its own particular name and form. It indicates the ocean uh, out of which it emerges, in which it exists, and into which it vanishes when it disappears. So in this hymn, uh, Milton shows us the whole of nature, uh, indicating before it tells us anything about any particular part indicates the one infinite reality, the divine reality, uh, from which all of nature emerges, of which all of nature is an appearance, um, in which all of nature exists and into which it vanishes when it disappears. So this uh, hymn is, is a hymn of praise. Uh, to the one infinite reality that we see all around us in the form of nature. These are thy glorious works, parent of good, almighty. Thine this universal frame, thus wondrous fair, thyself how wondrous then. Unspeakable, who sittest above these heavens, to us invisible, or dimly seen in these thy lowest works. Yet these declare thy goodness beyond thought and power divine. Speak ye who best can tell, ye sons of light, angels, for ye behold him, and with songs and choral symphonies, day without night, circle his throne rejoicing, ye in heaven. On earth, Join all ye creatures to extol him first, him last, him midst, and without end. Fairest of stars, last in the train of night, if better thou belong not to the dawn, sure pledge of day that crownest the smiling morn with thy bright circlet, praise him in thy sphere while day arises, that sweet hour of prime. Thou, Son, of this great world, both I and soul, acknowledge him thy greater. Sound his praise in thy eternal course, both when thou climbest, and when high noon hast gained, and when thou fallest. Moon, that now meetest the orient sun, now fliest with the fixed stars, fixed in their orb that flies, and ye five other wandering fires that move in mystic dance, not without song, resound his praise, who out of darkness called up light. Air, and ye elements, the eldest birth of nature's womb, that in quaternion run perpetual circle, multiform, and mix and nourish all things, let your ceaseless change vary to our great Maker, still new praise. Ye mists and exhalations, that now rise from hill or steaming lake, dusky or grey, 
till the sun paint your fleecy skirts with gold, in honour of the world's great author rise. Whether to deck with clouds the uncoloured sky, or wet the thirsty earth with falling showers, rising or falling, still advance his praise. His praise ye winds that from four quarters blow, breathe soft or loud, and wave your tops, ye pines, with every plant in sign of worship wave. Fountains, and ye that warble as ye flow, melodious murmurs, warbling, tune his praise. Join voices, all ye living souls, ye birds that, singing up to heaven gate, ascend, bear on your wings and in your notes his praise. Ye that in waters glide, and ye that walk the earth and stately tread or lowly creep, witness, if I be silent, morn or even, to hill or valley, fountain or fresh shade, made vocal by my song and taught his praise. Hail, universal Lord, be bounteous still to give us only good. And if the night hath gathered aught of evil, or concealed, dispersed, as now light dispels the dark, So um, I wish you all um, a beautiful day, uh, praising, uh, communicating and celebrating the one uh, infinite reality from which we all derive our apparently independent existence. Thank you. God bless. Bye.